Hey guys, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a quick update since I haven't done anything in quite a while. Um, just a lot going on. Uh, as you know, I went back and started N scale, and uh, we actually moved um, back into the old house. Um, just a lot going on with life and, and with depression and all and I had to make a decision um, still trying to move out of the old house um, I had all my G scale stuff uh, that I had to bring over and pile somewhere uh, plus the N scale stuff and I had to make a decision um, because I'm not the richest person in the world. In fact, I'm probably far from it. Um, and I have to look into the future, which really isn't going to be all that great. Um, so I had to make a decision um, about building a layout. So it came between the N scale, which I was still trying to collect, and the G scale. Um, I didn't really want to sell the G scale because we have no hobby shops locally or really even in the next town over uh, that would buy G scale. Um, selling it on eBay would not work because Pico, as you all know, are, is cheap. So, by the time I sold something, shipped it, then receive it, it would most likely be broken. So, I had to come to the conclusion of what I was going to do. And I really didn't want to do it because I had quite a bit of the end scale. But I had to sell the end scale. So, now I'm in the rush of building a layout in G-Scale. Um, like I said, I don't know how long I'll be able to keep it or even do G-Scale or actually any kind of trains. So, I'm kind of in a hurry to do that. So, I actually got somewhere now because I got the board painted and I actually got the styrofoam on it. And then today, uh, as you know, it's U-shape. And there is no way to do a G-scale layout on a 8 by 12 U-shaped board. So I've got a challenge ahead of me. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to do that. But I'll show you guys here in a minute what that challenge is. But this is what we got so far. And if you happen to see the room, please ignore the mess. It's basically a double oval. And here's the track plan since the darn laptop's in the way. That would be the track plan. It'll be DCC. And um, electrical turnouts. I still have to go and apply the electrical turnouts. I still gotta get the track glued down and um, make sure it's down permanently um, I didn't have a clear edge right here where the two pieces of uh, styrofoam meet um, this one was actually a little bit higher than this so I have a gap and, and, and you'll see and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but on the furthest rail it'll 
stick up and move up and down when the train runs on it. I actually had to check it for clearance uh, because I thought the tracks would be a little bit too close. But those two cars uh, made it around without hitting each other. Um, I'll try and do a couple more tests on it. But basically, uh, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with it. Um, I even got the curve switch over here um, that is going to actually, hopefully one day, if I can afford it, go into the other room to where I can have a longer run. But that's done as, hopefully, you know, I can do it one day, but who knows. But anyway, and excuse the mess because you are going to see it. Here's the problem. Someone has got to build a bridge and a lift out section. So, I did look at Sparky 107 107, I believe. I looked at his, and that's probably what I'm going to have to do because it looks like it's the uh, noob way of doing it. No offense there, Sparky. But it looks like it's something that I can do. It's just going to take time, which I really don't have. I want to try and get this done. I got all the wiring to do. Like I said, everything is going to be DCC. Even the switches. I got uh, the electrical uh, for it, uh, and along with the decoders for it. Uh, the only thing that I'm kind of upset about is... This track is a mixture of what I had at the old house, and it's mostly new, especially the R3s. That's all new, but I had to use some of the R1s and some of my straights and old straights that I had, and you can actually tell the difference because it's like the older rail is darker, it's corroded. I actually had to do something that you're not supposed to do, which is file it to get some of the scum off, but I'm not happy. As much as you pay for this track and it does that with no use at all, that's, that's really something to tick me off. But, uh, yeah, this is, this is going to be the hard section right here, trying to, to do the lift out, especially when the track's are not even with that. So basically what's going to happen is this and this section of track going this way is going to have to remain on the board and I'll probably have to use the rail clamps on these and as I put the, put the things in, put the rail clamps on them and do it that way. So, but... Anyway, if you guys have any other suggestions on what to do as far as the lift out, please comment below. Uh, and please wish me luck. <laughs> um, thanks a lot, guys. But that's the update. Station will probably go there along with the water tower that I have. Uh, not much room for really uh, any kind of houses. Right here would probably be the best that I have for doing something with the houses and all. Um, but yeah, it'll give me something to run. A little bit of fun, I guess. But anyway, peace, guys.